Hey. Hello, 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 everyone. How are you? Uh, Red Red Fun here once again. Thank you very much for taking time out of your Saturday to join me live here on this uh, webcast here from Gloucester Docks. We're at a place called Alexandra Warehouse. And as you can see in the background here, this is where uh, the boatyard is in uh, Gloucester Docks and they specialize in rigging and masts. And let me just show you, if I can, uh, some of what we're looking at here. And as you can see, there's a few boats in the yard as well. You've got Alexandra Warehouse in the background there, overlooking Lanthony uh, Warehouse, which is now the British Waterways Museum. And then further on down, Gloucester Docks itself. And this has two dry docks. Uh, there's a cruiser in that one there. And just over the back there, I don't know if you can see it on the walkway, there's a boat called the uh, Mary Rose, which is a old sailing ship that's getting re-rigged and more seaworthy uh, at the moment. So I'll try and uh, give you different locations uh, for me to do my live. So not only am I bringing you updates for on passive, but I'm also giving you a bit more of a visual as well. So without further ado, then let's uh, say a few hellos to some people who have come on here to take uh, their time. Uh, so we'll start uh, at the top here and we've got Pat Parent, your tea club in it. We've got Randy Leonard and Stuart Clark. Uh, hi to you guys. Sean's here. Steve Callahan, Roy Davis from Florida. Hello to you guys. Theo's here, Mamudu and Sapu as well. Barman. Hello to you guys. Anne Long's tea club in it. Uh, hi to you. Ozzy Osman. Dave Otto, hello, mate. Your tea club in it. Jason Gaynor's here. Holly, you're here. Holly Bugs. Uh, Lewis White, hi to you. Tea club in it. Jane Redfern, the wife's in the house. Hello to you. And uh, who else have we got here? Carol uh, Gaze uh, Kieso, hello to you. Uh, After Hours with Willow, hello to you, Willow. Good. Uh, she did a uh, post last night, which was very good. Uh, Jason Gaynor, you're here. Yvonne Finn is tea club in it. Hi to you. Casey Zevenberger and Paul Ashton tea club in it. Uh, Jane Seymour and Roy Davis. Let's hello to you, haven't I? Uh, who else we got? Lewis Silver. Hi. And Randall Harris, another tea clubber. Uh, Nick Munty's here. Hi to you. Uh, the lovely Dawn McIntyre, another tea clubber. Hi to you, Vicky Barker as well, and the Gail Peter and ch -ch -ch -ch. Greg Lakin. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Nice to see for you to come on live. Uh, Grams of all trade, another tea clubber. Hi to you, Anthony Flores, and who else we got? Just scrolling. Saik, uh, Siedal, Dul Islam, maybe. Harvey DJ Green's in the house. Vicky Barker. Uh, F uh, Fatima, you're here as well. Hello, lovely. You're another tea clubber. Uh, Susan Hodges is here. Uh, who else we got? So I'm just scrolling. Jacqueline Lewis, first through the door, tea club. How you doing? You're here. Uh, Antoinette Hayes, hello to you, another tea clubber. Uh, Grams of all trade, Tim Dillon's here. Hi, Lily Lane, another tea clubber. Roy Willis, tea club in it. Hi, you to you, Pravin. You're here. Hello, M. Kaylee. Hi, how you doing? Another tea clubber. Good to see you here. Manoj, you're here. Tanya on passive. Hello, Aaron Eaton. Uh, Vicky Hawkins, hi from Australia. Must be late where you are. It's jumped a bit. Rupert Paul, you're here. Uh, Theo. Uh, and uh, Awakun Martin, I think that is. Hello to you. And 
that'll do. Okay, right. First off then, uh, if you're a tea clubber or you want to be a tea clubber, want to know all about it, it is a little uh, club that we've got going on. Uh, who's that? That's Walker. Uh, is that Walker or Walter? Who's that? That's Walter. Uh, McLaren, thanks very much for your super sticker. Very, very kind of you for your support. Uh, talking of support, this is what Tea Club is all about. Uh, I've called it the Tea Club because it's like buying me a cup of tea once a month. It supports me uh, in this channel and allows me to spend all of my time uh, on, on Passive and bringing you the updates. If you want details of it, uh, if you click the icons at the bottom of the chat or join, it will give you more details uh, of it there. Now, I've added some more uh, emojis for you club members. And there's also a new sticker if you've been with me for six months as well. I am going to put a bit more content on there for you as well. So that's what the Tea Club's about. And thank you so much for all of your support over the months that you have given me and allowed me uh, to spend all of my time uh, working uh, on your behalf with on passive. Uh, the other things I've got for you today um, is that right now has just started the OTEC Pro, and I'll be going over to that very, very shortly. If anybody's on here who has the link, please put it in the chat so they can grab it and we can go over there as soon as I've finished this live. Marty will be doing a live, but he normally postpones it for a couple of hours until that uh, webinar is over with. So I'd suspect he'll be doing it at 2 p.m. Eastern, which is 7 p.m. UK. Uh, tonight we have also, we've got Milo's show. Uh, that's on tonight. Who is this that's given me a super sticker? That is uh, on passive. Uh, I can't read it on here, I'm afraid. Oh, there we go. It's Lara Hodge, uh, Hadjox. Thank you so much for the super sticker. It's really very kind of you. Um, so that's uh, Milo's on tonight. And he has got the guests. He's got Nick, uh, Lynn Nakamoto. He's got Jeffrey Morlock. And... John Berea, he is there as well. He is going on uh, as a speaker. So fantastic for you, John. You've uh, finally <laughs> gone from working the chat lives to actually speaking. This goes to show, guys, isn't it? That find your lane, you get noticed, and then we will bring you forward uh, to be able to speak on the webinar. So congratulations to you, John, uh, for being one of the guests on Milo's show tonight. Uh, not quite sure what time that's on, uh, but details again. If you have that, uh, then you can put it in the chat. I believe John at Barbershop White is here. Hello to you, John. Uh, fantastic. Um, the other thing that I wanted to bring up uh, for you today was, what was it? Um, uh, talking of my channel here, you'll notice there is a new section called Corporate Webinars. Uh, what I've done with that is I've taken all of the corporate webinars that have been officially done by uh, on Passive and I have put them on my channel. They're in one place, so you can just grab them and share them uh, to anybody you want to via that section there, okay? Uh, they are fantastic, guys. They're only five, six minutes long, all of them, and they really are a great uh, way of introducing people to on passive uh, for that very good resellers position. It certainly get, uh, wets their whistle and gets them to see what is going to be on offer to them uh, with on passive. So the OTEC pros at the moment, they're talking about why on passive is far superior to all of the other people out there. Theo, thank you so much. Uh, for your super sticker, very, very kind of you and everyone else who is supporting me here. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, I just wanted to put my sort of uh, two penneth worth in as well, as far as what my view and gauge on why I believe that on passive is far superior to anybody else who's out there at the moment and why uh, it is head and shoulders above uh, anybody, any other company out there. For a start, look where we're starting from. Now, all of the very successful uh, companies that are out there, majority of them all started their time uh, either in garages, front rooms, uh, or mates' houses, etc., colleges, universities. And they have gone from strength to strength to the companies they are today. Now, there is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. 
But with on passive, what we have done, we have started at such a high level for any company who is starting out uh, into the customer based business. Now, this is a very important topic for me being a customer based business. Why? Because it was one of the reasons that I got involved. Uh, Johav Hellman from Finland, thank you so much for your super sticker as well, my friend. Prior to me joining on Passive, I'd been in, we'll say, lots of programs that were all promising rates of returns for investing money, blah, de, blah, and all the rest of it. But what was lacking with all of these is there was no product behind anything. It was just empty promises at the end of the day telling me that someone was either trading my money or investing my money or shares or stocks or whatever it may be. But there was never anything to sell. So I was actively looking for a company that was going to produce products, whether they be digital or physical, that they could actually sell because I've had my own business. I understand the way that businesses work. You sell something, you make a profit, and then that profit you either share between people or you keep for yourself. Very, very simple, isn't it? Uh, Juanita Ali's just joined us uh, as a tea clubber. Congratulations and welcome. Uh, so, this is what I was looking for. And when I heard those first two audio videos way back in uh, September of 2018, I really caught the vision of what Ash Farah was trying to achieve. And this was only with that digital marketing platform that he had uh, or we were going to have back in the day uh, then. Obviously, we are a completely different animal now to where we were uh, right there. It really was, uh, you know, something that I was looking for because I understood how it works. Sell something, make some money. Then if you're doing that, you stand a very, very good chance of having longevity within a business because you are not... Pay, uh, pinching from Peter to pay Paul, etc. as we've seen so many times with other things. You are actually giving a customer something they want to buy. And this is exactly where we are now with Ash Mufara. But the difference is the old style of doing business is always what? It is to make profit. It's for either the bosses to make the money or the shareholders to make the money. What we've done with on passive, and this is the real reason for me why I believe we are so much superior to everybody else, because it's actually not about the money. It's about the value we are going to be giving our customers. And this is what is going to be the massive driving force, okay, for all of us. Uh, who's that? Is just uh, uh, automated something or other. Who's just joined us as a, as a tea club? Congratulations! Thank you so much. This is going to be the driving force of what customers are going to be looking for. I've given the same analogy that we look for the best deals and the best values every single day of our lives, whether we know it or not. When you go shopping, you're going down the aisles, you're looking for the half prices, the two for ones. All of these are value at the end of the day. Why do we like it? Because we as a consumer, we like to feel and to have something of greater value at a lower price. And this is exactly how we as on passive are going to be marketing ourselves to the world. We are giving the customer, the person who's paying for it, something of high value at a low price. And they're going to look at one or the other. OK, they're going to look at us with what we have on offer in this hand. And then they're going to look at what's out there right now. And they're going to make a mental comparison of the two. And they're going to go. Well, if I have on passive, I'm going to get this, 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 and this for less than I get very little with this one here. Juanita Ali, thank you so much for your super sticker. It really, uh, thank you for your support and everything you do. Great to see you uh, the other Saturday on our live. So this, is, this will be the driving force of on passive, but it's never been about the money. It's been about giving the customer value for what they are paying for. Whereas the 
normal way of doing business is let's sell it for as much as possible to make the most profit so that we are making the most money. They don't care about the value that they are giving the customers. Value only ever comes normally when you can't sell it for what you want to sell it for. Uh, who's that who's just joined us as well? Elena, how are you doing? Thank you very much for joining the Tea Club. So the mentality of old is going to get blown out of the water. Ashmi Farah has said on many, many occasions, we will be teaching businesses the new way of doing business online, the new way of marketing, because it all goes back to how much value you can give somebody, not about how much money you can make. But it goes hand in hand. And this is the absolute beauty about what on passive is doing right now they've focused on how much we how much value how many bits and pieces we can put into one product for a lowest price possible so that then we can sell it to the consumer it's not about let's just make something and let's see how much money we can sell it for to make the most amount of profit but what happens the customer will drive the requirements, they will drive the viral effect of what is going to be happening with on passive because they're going to naturally look at one, look at another. They're going to say, I can get so much more with this from on passive than I can from then. And they're going to flock to us. Uh, who's that? Who's giving me a super sticker? Stuart Clark. Thank you so much. And Sue. Uh, Serenzin, I think that is, who's joined us as a tea clubber. Thank you so much. So this is the genius of what on passive is all about. This is what is going to make us, and already before we start, a far superior company. The value of on passive right now is far greater than most companies wish to get to, and they've been in business for years and years and years. We have 1.4 million founders who are directly going to be a customer from day one. That is a fantastic baseline to start any campaign. I mean, most businesses would die to have that many customers, let alone founders who then become customers who are automatically tied in to on passive. It's unheard of of how this has been thought out, put together. And what are we expected to do as founders from all of this? Absolutely nothing. We're expected to be a good founder, a good on passivian. That means staying plugged in, listening to the likes of me, giving you information, being able to allow the process to take its course. And it is taking its course. Every single day that passes, we are one step closer to the goal of launching to the world as a customer-based business. We have not seen anything yet, guys. The, the, the very, very, very small amount that we know right now, okay, is the tip of the iceberg of what is going to happen to all of us as founders in on passive. So I'm going to leave it there for you for that. That's my thoughts of the day for you guys. Uh, for everybody who's just joined as a tea clubber, welcome and thank you uh, for buying me a cup of tea once a month. It really does mean a lot. For all of those that have sent me super, super stickers today, again, thank you for your support. It really does uh, allow me uh, to do what I'm doing. I've just seen Narell is here, Walcott from Australia. Thank you so much for staying up, Narell. Uh, I know that you don't half burn the midnight oil to stay engaged. It really does show your commitment as an on-passivian. Anyway, that's it for me. Great to see so many in on a Saturday. I know your time is precious. And uh, obviously, I'm having a day off tomorrow. Tomorrow is my granddaughter's birthday party. She's a big fat four. So we're going to be going over to probably eat jelly and ice cream in the sun. So that's going to be great fun. Looking forward to that. I'll be back on Monday uh, with more updates with me and Jane. So it's going to be called Monday Fun Day with Red and Jane. And if you want to ask Jane or myself any questions, okay, 
come along to our live and we will uh, go through the chat. You can amass them in the chat and we will do our best to answer them. Uh, obviously, no support questions or anything like that. Uh, that's not what it's about. It's to get to know me and Jane more. And uh, if you want to come along that, bit of fun. We'll have a bit of banter. Uh, very lighthearted. Uh, and uh, we will love to see you there. That's going to be at four o'clock UK, which is 12 uh, Eastern. No, it's not. It's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we'd love to see you over there. Uh, on in the night time, excuse me, on the sneeze. <coughs> um, round table uh, on Monday night. Is Ash going to be there? I have no idea. Uh, he does like the round table. Obviously, if he is, we will obviously uh, post it in the back office. It will be in the updates uh and we'll take it from there but once again thanks very much for being on uh live with me today uh, it really does mean an awful lot to me uh to have so many people following me and listening to my words of wisdom sometimes i think i'll go on a bit but there you go anyway bye for now and i'll see all of you guys over on the otec pros uh right after this i've got to walk back to the boat but i'll be coming very very shortly bye for now